Welcome to AE Tactical. My name is Rondell Benjamin. What I'd like to do is give you all a window into what we call a 24-hour emergency everyday carry bag. There's many names for this style of bag on the market. Go bag, get home bag, or just emergency supplies bag. Um, we definitely have different styles of bags that we can use. Some come with hydration in place. Some have many pockets and many spaces in which you can store beautiful items that you're gonna need. So this is a backpack style EDC bag that we're gonna discuss. It's a Vertex Garment 2.0, lightweight. So the first thing we have to look at always is communication. And a major part of communication is a backup supply of power, right? Part of any good EDC bag is emergency cash, right? You never know when you're going to need it, when it's going to be a tool for exchange or utilization. And because we're living in pandemic times, always accessible hand sanitization. Now, as we lay out the bag, what I want to do is make it really, really clear the order in which the information that we're sharing is going to be displayed. So first we have emergency cash, communication, and sanitization. The second area of concern has to be definitely H2O. We know that within the first three hours of a survival situation, your ability to access water is critical. After hydration is definitely food. Here we have lovely barbecue cute chicken MREs. All right, tasty, I think not, but in an emergency or survival situation, critical in providing health and safety. Then what we're gonna have to look at is Emergency shelter blanket, especially for people who are experiencing shock. Paracord and paracord bracelets, survival bracelets that allow you to generate fire, guide yourself, secure, create slings, and protect those who need it. Here we have a classical snake bite first aid kit. Always useful when you live in a tropical country that has two of the most venomous snakes in the world. Again, disposable gloves and gloves for handling, be it rough systems, um, cordage, wood, or emergency health response. Portable light, two styles. One generated by battery, the other chemical. Basic first aid kit. We have everything from cold compressors, aspirin, biological antiseptic, burn gels, an additional pair of disposable gloves, nitrile, second shock blanket, gauze and bandage, as well as paper to take notes, leave signals, or give critical information. Here we have a basic sanitization kit. It includes everything from odor mask, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, be it in a situation where you're unable to get back home, trapped in the office, or you know you need to take care of yourself and ensure that you are in the right level of sanitization to prevent disease. Shelter, all right, portable poncho that can convert into basic urban and rural survival shelter, lightweight, portable, readily accessible, critical change of clothing, which includes socks, 
etc. Obviously, in survival situations, a small blade to allow us access, entry, to deal with all kinds and manners of situation. What we're then going to look at is the items we have in the side pocket. Extra Ziploc bags. Old school utility dining set. Critical to any survival pack. The ability to generate fire. Spoons, knives, forks. And finally, a life straw, which allows us to convert supplies of water into safe portable drinking water. Now, you'll notice that this particular bag has an interesting section. This allows us to have a ballistic plate and convert this bag into a form of a portable bulletproof vest. This is for people who have certain high risk situations where the probability of coming under attack by pistol would be highly possible. So let's just kind of quickly review the seven or eight critical items we have to have in an EDC kit like this. We have to be able to communicate and generate power to charge portable devices, get help. Then we have to have water, food, fire, first aid, shelter, sanitization, a bit of cash to be able to allow us to maneuver, negotiate, and acquire items that we need, and specific critical items that are specific really to the geographic location you're in, be it a snake bite kit or something like a mosquito repellent. Some of these items are available at AE Tactical. Now you understand that there's the Trinity training, equipment, and community that is required to bring this to fruition. Hit us up in the comment section below. Share your ideas, thoughts, things you think are missing from the EDC kit. I hope to see you all soon once lockdown conditions have lifted. And let's make our personal survival a priority. Have a great day.